Here we go again. It's the start of another season. We are favourites to win the league once again. But this time, that is exactly what the board are demanding. We have to win the league to keep our job. So, no pressure. Let's go and get started in today's episode of Walks to the Prem. Hello guys, it's me, Bad Jokes, back at you once again with another video. And today guys, we've got episode number 24 of the Kingsling Walks to Prem save here on Football Manager 2020. And yet, as you saw in the intro, we are starting yet another season, season four of the Walks to Prem save. And yet, we've got to win the league. No ifs, no buts, no coconuts, no anything else. We have got to win the league to keep our job. So, this is, might be the most stressful season yet of the series. And we are starting it off with a game against Gateshead once again. You cannot make it up. The team that knocked us out of the playoffs last season are our first opponents of this season. So, that's a little bit of a story there. And just before we do crack on into that game, I'm going to take you through the transfers we've done over the summer because it has been another busy summer once again. And we have sold a player for actual real monies to a local rival team. So let's go and check all that stuff out. The first transfer we have brought in is a striker on a freebie to add a little bit of competition for Adam Marriott. And it is Akeem Rose. He's 23 years old. He's Jamaican. He was previously at Grimsby. Didn't really do a whole lot there. But I like some of his attributes. I like his acceleration. His pace is decent. Mentals are okay. Finishing is 12, which is fairly decent for down at this level. So I'm thinking maybe bring him off the fence whenever Marriott is getting a little bit tired. And maybe he can run at people and get a couple of goals for us that way. So that should be a very decent signing. He joins us on a non-contract deal. So, yes, he's got a 350 quid appearance fee. But other than that, he's not costing us too much on the wage budget if he doesn't play. So, he's a good backup option. And then following him in is a right back from Bolton, Sam Wardrop. He is 24 years old, Scottish. And he's got quite decent attributes once again for a no-nonsense fullback. But we're playing as a regular fullback. So he's got 11 for crossing, 10 for passing, 12 for positioning and teamwork, and stamina of 13. So he should maybe be okay, is what I'm hoping. He, we are paying him a lot of money though. 875 quid a week. So he really does need to impress. He needs to have a very good season this year. And then after him, we've got... Kieran Jones, Kieran Jones, I think that's how you pronounce it. We've got him again from Norwich. We've gone back to Norwich for another local player. He's a 23-year-old central defender, three and a half star current, five star potential ability according to our coaches. So if he can reach that, we will be doing something very right and I'll be very, very happy with that. We are paying him the same as Wardrop, 875 quid a week again. We have spent big on wages in this transfer window. And then following him into the club about a week or so later is Stephen Hopkins on loan from Charlton. What kind of face is that? What has happened to the new gen faces? Because I'm telling you, he looks like a vampire. He looks blooming awful. I am looking at getting uh, Chilled Mooses, a.k.a. What The Fork Gaming's faces. I'm looking into getting them some point soon. So hopefully we'll, we'll get better faces than what this dross is that FM is giving to us. But anyway, he's a centre-back. We've got him on loan. Two and a half star current. Four star potential ability. And we are paying absolutely nothing for him. 
So I'm very happy with that. He comes in as another backup option. He should be fairly decent for free. I'm never going to moan at getting anybody for free. And speaking of freebies, again, it is a guy with no face. 19-year-old Bradley Rolt. He's got 11 finishing. He's a striker, by the way. 11 finishing, 11 technique, 13 off the ball, 12 anticipation and 12 acceleration. Again, he's another freebie we've got in just to give a bit of competition to Adam Marriott and a bit of support for it if he ever goes down injured. We've got quite a few options to back him up. So I'm happy with that. And then once again, another striker. I may have gone a bit heavy on the strikers this summer, but it's Jaden Allenby John, 19 year old English man. We got him from Walsall. He was just released by them and then we've picked him up. So yeah, a very decent option, I think. Nine finishing, little bit low, but we're working with him on that. But look at that pace, 16 acceleration, 11 pace. So you never know, again, bit of a speed merchant off the bench for the last 20 minutes as teams are tiring. Could be a very good option there. And after him, it is Andrew Young from Loki Doki's old team, Cardiff Met Uni. He is an 18-year-old centre-back, three-star current, four-star potential ability, 12 for marking, 13 for tackling, 17 for bravery, 14 positioning, 18 for natural fitness. It's not highlighted there, but I do like a player who does have a high level of natural fitness. His pace is a little bit on the low side, but hopefully, again, we can work with him on that, but... Other than that, his technical attributes are quite decent, I think, and his mentals as well. So I'm happy with him on that particular part of the deal. And we are paying him 350 notes a week. So not the most expensive player we've got, but not the cheapest as well. And so hopefully he will have a good year for us. And after that, it's another guy in from Peter Bar. It's a goalie, Anthony Herbin, 23 years old. Three star current, four and a half star potential ability, and he's got 13 handling, aerial reach of 12, reflexes of 12, uh, decisions of 12. And so, yeah, again, another decent one. He's come in to provide competition for Josh Barnes. Them two are going to be going neck and neck all summer or all season, even for the top spot in goal. And after him, last two players in is Jaden Campbell. He is a right winger. 12 acceleration, 14 pace, 10 crossing, 13 dribbling. His technicals and his physicals are decent. His mentals let, let him down a little bit, in my opinion. I might try and see if we can get another right winger in at some point. Unless he kicks on and he has a fantastic start to the season. You don't know. He's, of course, been brought in. He's going to be challenging George Brown. Because even though our coach has George Brown down as our fifth best right midfielder. I like him. He did okay last season, but he does need competition. So, yeah. So, yeah, I'm happy with that deal. We're paying him absolutely nothing again. So, it's another freebie. Very happy with that deal. And then, last one in is a guy we did have last season. It's from Cholton once again. Pascal won Estrada. He played... 14, no, 18 times, sorry. He played 14 times in the league, I think it was. Uh, no, not even right about that. I don't even know my own player's stats. That's how much attention I pay. He played 18 times for us last season, getting an, getting an average rating of 6.71. And so, yep, he's again a backup option. Diaz, Wright and Simmons are, of course, still at the club. So he's going to come in and try and challenge them two and try and get into the first 11 and then as for deals out of the club let's go for the big one first charlie wiggett our central defender he has left us for boston for a fee of seventy-four thousand pounds not the most amount of money but it, it, it activated his minimum fee release clause for teams in a higher league so we had no choice but to accept it and it's a decent deal. 
when you think that we got him on a freebie at the beginning of last season. He gave us one good year and now we've got 74 grand out of him. So I'm fairly comfortable with that deal. I'm happy with that. And the only other two to leave are Daniel Barden, our ex-goalkeeper. He's gone to Chelmsford. And Zach Brown has gone to Woking, both on freebies. And so, that is the transfers for today. Let's go and crack on with the club vision first. I want to show you the club vision before we do get into the game. And so, we're working within the ways budget. That is, of course, still required. We've got about £400 left. Yes, we have. And we've got a transfer budget of 12000 We did have a transfer budget at the start of the summer of about 80, 90 grand, And then that obviously got boosted by the money for Charlie Wiggett. But I've ploughed most of that into the scouting budget so we can find players a little bit easier. So that's why that's gone back down to 12 k But we are still working in the ways budget. And then end of current season, absolutely required four levels of importance. Manorama, National League North, promotion by winning the league. And four levels of importance, again, for the FA Cup, reached the first round. And the FA Trophy, not really that important, but they want us to reach the fourth round of that. And as things stand, my contract ends at the end of this season. Let's just see if I can make a request right now to extend that. No, I can't. Okay, so that's going to be a big, big thing for this season. Try and get my contract extended. Try and see how we get on. But yeah, I think that's enough waffling about transfers, about club vision. Let's go and crack on with the game against Gateshead. This is the team for today's game. We've got Herbin in goal, making his debut. Wilson is still in the team from last season at left back. Jones, Young and Wardrop all making their debuts for the team today. And then in the midfield, we've got Mbala, Wright, Simmons and Brown. And then up front, it is Mundell and Marriott. All those six keeping their positions from last season. The bookmakers have us as favourites for this game against Gateshead despite me being told in the press conference that we have lost all five of our last games against Gateshead. So we really do need an improvement in that record today. Hopefully we can turn it around. Here we are back in the dressing room for the first time this year and let's go and give the lads a morale boosting team talk. I know, a lot of you, I know a lot of you will be keen to avenge what happened when we last played Gateshead. And most of them are indeed motivated. Let's leave it at that. Prediction time. Pfft, no idea. We've lost five times against these. So I will take a dodgy 1-0 win. Yeah, let's go for that. 1-0 win to us. First highlight of the season is us with the ball. Our keeper's kicked it long. Mario has nodded the ball on to Mundell. And Mundell, just trying to get away from the defence there, goes through to George Brown. And George Brown with the shot. And, well, that was quite awful, wasn't it? 20 minutes in, it's the Gateshead keeper with a free kick on the left-hand side. He's gone long, but we've won it back. And Marriott goes to our left-back, Wilson, who goes over the top. And Mundell is in. Mundell for the first goal of the season. Nope, that is blocked. And what can Mbala do? Can he get it into the box? Oh, penalty! Surely that was a penalty ref. Apparently not. 37 minutes gone. Hayes with the ball to Forster. And they go back. Hayes again to Richards. Can we win this back here, please? That would be quite nice. They go and give it back to Ali. And the ball is cleared. Oh, rather the keeper has it. Herbin throws it to Wilson. And now, can he get it through to Mbala? He can. But Mbala's got a bit of a knock, so he just passes it. But Marriott's in. Can this be his first of the season? No. That's two good chances we've had, and we have spoiled them both. But we're making chances, which is the, the most important thing for the time being. Mbala with the corner, and that's a poor one. And that goes out for a throw in. I think Mbala's going to be coming off at half-time. 
five minutes until that half time now though. Greenfield loses the ball to our man right. And our fella there, I think that might have been Mario, is unable to win it back. Right, goes forward and again it's all back and forth at the minute. Greenfield to Brown to Akuma. Akuma Matata. Right, with the ball and he goes out wide. Embala brings it down. He's in space. He's in the box. Can he put it in the back of the net? No, he can't. Three chances now. And that is half time. And apart from the scoreline, that's been a very, very good first half. We've had 10 shots to their 5, 9 on target to their 1, 54% of the possession. So we're starting to look a little bit more like how we was for most of last season until the bottle drop came in towards the end. So let's go team talk. Let's go assertive. I'm not happy. Or just unlucky, boys. I'm going to go unlucky. See, see what that does. Mm, not much. Uh, come on. Yes, here we go. Yep, most people are now motivated. Still think we're going to win this one. We've definitely been the better side. So let's go and get into the second half. And straight away at the start of the second half, it's us with a throw in. Simmons tries to cross it. Why he's trying to cross it there, I don't know. Surely he knew the man was there. But now Gateshead coming forward. Ah, oh, they've, not, they've not played well in the first half. Thought they was going to get in then. But now George Brown with it. Over the top. And Marriott, I think he was on. I, he's, he's played it into the middle. Romain Mundell. How has he missed that? Ah. Oh. Six minutes into the second half. Forster with a free kick. We head it away. Simmons just clears it to absolutely nobody. And Ikuma with the ball. Can Marriott win it off him? He does. And Marriott, he's got Mundell just behind him. Is he going to need him? He's gone for the shot. That's poor for Marriott. That is quite poor. Gateshead now with a throw in. Highlights galore in this first game of the season. And Forster's header goes about a foot wide. An hour gone in the game. And now Wilson with it goes to Jones, who goes over the top, but their man heads it away. Mundell picks it up, and Mundell out wide, and George Brown has it. He's in the box. He needs to cross this. Don't go for the shot. He has gone for the shot, but the keeper saved it and pushed it out for a corner ball. One more highlight just before I do start making changes. Forbes has it, and can we win it back off him, please? He goes to Brown, who crosses it into the middle of the pitch. Richards to Forster. And, oh, why has the keeper not come for it? Why has the goalkeeper not come for it there? Oh, that was the easiest thing ever to snuff out. Why the keeper hasn't done it, I don't know. Let's have a look at this. Oh, awful keeping. Terrible goalkeeping there. And now let's make some subs. Okay, following that goal, we're going 4-2-3-1. Akeem Rose and Alibi John are both coming on for their debuts to replace George Brown and Adam Marriott. Unfortunately, we haven't got anyone on the bench that can play on the left-hand side of midfield. So Mbala's going to have to try and just get through to the end of the game. And hopefully we can get an equaliser. I don't want to start the season with a defeat. That would make it six on the spin against Gateshead. So let's go confirm the changes. Oh, immediately we've got a highlight from the kickoff. Young goes over the top, goes to John, to Mundell, goes out wide, and Rose has it. Rose is into the box, and he goes for the shot, and that is over the bar. But decent effort there. 20 minutes just about left. Forster with the free kick. And oh my god, it's 2-0. How? How are we losing this game 2-0? We have absolutely bossed it. Forster with the free kick. Ali nodded it in. And it's a tackle goal there from Nathan Clements. And that's his second of the game. Okay, so following that second goal, we've changed up the tactics quite a bit. We're now going for a higher defensive line, higher line of engagement, extremely urgent pressing. And we've gone on here for suit on sight and hit early crosses. 
with extremely direct passing and much higher tempo. Let's see what we can do in the last 15 minutes. And our Embal is having to come off now. So I think we bring on Estrada for Embala and chuck Estrada in the middle there. And what is his favourite role? Oh, sorry lads, just had, just had to sneeze. And so, let's go ball winning midfielder, do we want that? No, we've already got one of them. Uh, let's put him as a deep line playmaker and let's change Wright and Simmons to Mazalas. Let's see what that can do. See if that can give us any chance of getting back into the game. And Chuck Rose up top as well. So we're going for a 3-1, 4-3-1-2, sorry. And yep, let's just see what that'll do for us. Four minutes left of the 90. Gateshead once again with the ball. Brown plays it over the top and Hayes is in behind here. This is going to be free, isn't it? Nope, good save there from Herbin. Pushing the ball out for a corner ball. And it's going to be their man, Forster, to take it. He crosses it out wide. Simmons heads it away. And none of our guys are anywhere near that ball. Yamfam into Ali. And that ends that. Ah, Gateshead, I blooming hate you. Sorry if there's any Gateshead fans watching. But you are our proper bogey team. We should have won that game. We had 18 shots to their 16. 12 on target to their 7. 4 clear cut chances to their 2. And we did lose the possession battle again. Little bit worrying that. Not quite sure why we've dropped off with the possession. Over the end of last season and now this game here. That is quite worrying. But let's get into the dressing room. Let's go team talk. Let's go. Let's go passionate. Uh, that was no, not a pleasing performance. Uh, just one of those days. And most of them have gained confidence or they're motivated. So that is very, very good to see. And so guys, that disappointing result is where we're going to leave it for today. If you've enjoyed that video... Pop a massive thumbs up down below. Every thumbs up, every like really does help the channel out. It helps us out with the YouTube algorithm so we can get more eyes on the channel. Which, speaking of more eyes on the channel, I want to say thank you because over the weekend we did hit 550 subscribers on the channel. So, very, very happy with that. Thank you all so much, everybody who subscribed. If you're new, if you've been here from the beginning, if you've been here a year or so, however long you've been here, thank you all so much for smashing that subscriber button. And yep, guys, follow me on Twitter at Bad Jokes Gaming and check out the Passion for FM website, Discord, Twitter, and Facebook. All the links, as ever, down below. And, yep, guys, I think that's just about everything for this first episode of the season. I'll be back with you boys tomorrow. I shall see you then. Arrivederci.